All right, let's talk about Greg Locke, unfortunately. Um, because, he listen, he says a lot of crazy stuff from his uh, tent, circus tent church in Mount Juliet, Tennessee. But there was a clip of him this week that where he said something during a sermon, and it was so disturbing that I think even a lot of Christians got mad about it. This was flagged by a, a Twitter user, Dark Elf Zombie One. But I'm going to play you this clip, and uh, we'll talk about it on the other side. Uh, wait till you hear what Greg Locke is saying about people with handicaps. Not this way for the most part overseas, but churches in the American culture. You know one of the largest expenses we have in buildings? The amount of handicap parking and handicap accessibility that we have in our churches. Now, let me make you mad for a minute, and I don't really care. <laughs> Why is it you pull up to a church that says they operate in faith, and you have 50 handicapped parking spots? <laughs> Ain't nobody laid hands on them handicapped folks yet. I don't care what Twitter says. You can get mad all you want to. Fold your arms, stick your lips out, pooch them out. I don't care. I'm so unafraid of what anybody in this tent thinks about me right now in my life. I could care less. We, we just expect that people are going to leave church the same way they came to church. Yeah. We ought to start having some signs out there that don't have, you know, like, like handicap accessibility, people in a wheelchair. We ought to start having signs of a wheelchair laying down and somebody just walking up. Yeah. Well, Pastor, I think you're being insensitive. I think you just don't have any faith is what I think. So if I'm interpreting that correctly, if you have any sort of physical disability, it's your fault for not having enough faith in God. Because, you know, if you believe God can do anything and fix everything and you need and you're not healed, he's basically blaming the victim in that sense. And obviously, you know, there are plenty of people with physical disabilities who have so much faith that they sometimes go to faith healers who pretend to cure you and they don't, or they go to Locke's church because they're hoping for a miracle. But guess what? Sometimes those types of miracles cannot happen. It doesn't happen. Like the only chance you have in certain cases is maybe a doctor has something you can do. But by and large, like if you're in a, if I'm not going to, cherry pick certain disabilities but his argument that if you're in a wheelchair that you're not faithful you're not fully devout is so disturbing it's got to be super offensive to people who are christian uh and i think a lot of them spoke out against him too for saying that because obviously that's not true uh and it's deeply damaging and check out what he responded with later uh it's an unbelievable shame and disgrace, the things that have been said to me and about me today, simply because I said yesterday that people with handicapped conditions can be healed and the church in America should believe for and expect miracles. Wow. The evil comments and messages from people steaming mad that I have biblical faith is utterly ridiculous. Hashtag where's my chair. I don't know what that's in reference to. That's a weird one. Um, by the way, he did not say handicapped people can be healed. He said that if they're not healed, it's because they don't have sufficient faith. As if it's their fault, they have some sort of physical disability. So again, he's, I don't know if you want to call it gaslighting or just flat out lying, but what he said was deeply offensive. I don't expect anyone who goes to that church to call him out on it. But man, for a guy who lives on social media, Greg Locke, like that's the sort of thing that deserves to be called out by other pastors and other Christians. I mean, hell, you can use the God does everything for a reason and say that's why some people have disabilities. But he, and that's a lie I'm sure they can get away with. But where's the bigger Christian pushback to that sort of lie? Because again, just like the girl defined dude, uh, this isn't just a religious lie. This is just flat out harmful 
and the fact that someone like Locke is saying this. And of course, he says everything with total conviction, 100% confidence, completely unearned. But that's the way he talks. It's so it's it's so offensive to me. And I already don't like the guy. But that's super disturbing.